Greetings. Hello, Mumford Mustangs. This is one of my favorite songs. Always gets me pumped, gets me motivated, gets me right. Just want to share a little bit of it with you. Hello, 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 Muffer Mustang, excuse me. My name is Miss Parker. I am your speech teacher here at the high school. I am very excited about a new semester, semester two in which we will expand upon those ideas, concepts, and theories that we have already learned in semester one. And so today I want to share some common norms in forming, norming and forming with you all, okay? The first thing I would like to do is go over um, the apps that you will be using frequently in my class. And the first one will be Microsoft Teams. And I'll share my screen so you know how to navigate it for my class. Here you will see Microsoft Teams and you should be um, very uh, familiar with Microsoft Teams. Um, as you see on my screen, I have all of my classes, first, second, third, fifth, and sixth hour. Yours will look a little different. In Microsoft Teams, this is where you will access our class meetings. You will also be able to access more information. So I'll just go to first hour just as an example. As you can see, I have already uploaded many things. Here is the class meetings, which um, should appear in your calendar on Microsoft Teams. And additionally, what you need to know is every day, every day that there is a school day, you need to do your daily attendance check-in. This is how you will be marked present, tardy, or absent for the class. This is the only way that you'll be marked present, tardy, and absent. And you can find daily attendance check-in at the top of the general channel. If you click the drop-down menu, you will see daily attendance check-in and you can click here. And quite simply with daily attendance check-in, you are just putting your first name, first and last name, excuse me, putting your first and last name and submit. That is all you have to do for your attendance. Again, this is what you will do every day. Next, what you will always find is the week in review. So I have already uploaded your week in review outline and you can click on here and it will give you what we are doing for the week. So Monday and Tuesday is semester one. And here we are today, day one, norming and forming reminders, okay? Thursday, this is incorrect. That is supposed to be syllabus, but I will check that. It will be syllabus and we will review the syllabus. And then Friday, you got it. Norming and forming check-in, no Teams meeting. Additionally, another resource that you have here is the class website, Ms. Parker's class website. And you can, again, go to the drop-down menu and the class website is here you can navigate even through Teams to get to uh, Speech 2 class, all right? One thing is we would never use Teams for assignments. We would never use Teams for assignments. We will always use Teams for our class meeting. And I will post different reminders as well as messages in Teams. So this could be your message center, as well as when you um, come in for your class hour. Additionally, in Teams, you have office hours. Office hours will take place weekly. And if you see here, there is always a link accessible for you to click to join the meeting. We'll talk more about office hours in the syllabus review. This Again, is the Teams app and how we will utilize it. Again, there will be always a weekend review. You can access the class website and your Teams meeting will take place here. The next 
app that I would like to discuss is Schoology. Okay. Okay, here you will see Schoology. Schoology is where all of our assignments are going to be um, housed in. And so, again, you have your courses. Again, here's my courses. I have several. And I'm just going to look at first hour again for semester two. And what you will notice always is first, under updates, that week in review outline will be there. Every Sunday, your week in review. You are responsible for knowing what that week in review looks like for the week. So here is the updated one that I discussed with you all earlier in the video that was changed. The Thursday you can see is changed. Okay, and this again is always going to be shared with you, not only in Schoology, but also in the team space. Going to materials. I have already started formatting this for you. Here is the link to my website, the same one that we saw on Teams, and we will explore that in a moment. Here is your do now. All do nows for the semester is located in this folder. Do nows will lock after the first 10 minutes of class and do nows cannot be made up. So simply to access your do now, you will click on the folder and the do now, which you do not have one today, will appear. You again are responsible for going to the do now folder. You again have 10 minutes, only 10 minutes to complete your do now and submit it. The next item is discussion board. All discussion boards for this semester are located in this pink folder. There will be a weekly discussion. In order to receive full credit, you must do two things. You must provide a complete response to the discussion board questions, and then you must respond to a classmate's post with a response that provides reasoning. So all discussion boards are due on Fridays by 5 o'clock p.m. They will lock. So you will click on discussion board. There's nothing in this folder as we will not have anything this week. However, beginning next week, there will be a discussion board. I make this as easy as possible to get the information. Assessments, all class assessments will be located in this folder for the semester. So if you have a pre and post assessment, if you have a quiz, if you have a test, if you have a project or a presentation, those assessments will be here. Okay, and again, all the folders are color coded as you can see. Archive lessons and lectures. So all lectures and lessons that has been taught or due date has passed will be located in this folder. This folder will also serve as a resource of reviewing your final exam. And so you will see a plethora of folders in this archive lessons and lectures, which you can go back and find more find information um, from previous lessons. Every week you will find a blue folder that will indicate the work for the week or for a period of time. As you can see, this one states Wednesday, February 3rd to Friday, February 5th. This is all materials for the first week of semester two. Next week, it will state something different. It will have probably the full week. If there is a lesson that we're, or a unit that we're working on for two weeks, then the, the span will be two weeks. And once you click on that folder, you will see again this video, norming and forming video, the syllabus expl explanation video in which we will discuss tomorrow, along with the speech syllabus. And then you have the speech syllabus form and the norming and forming check in. Okay, all of that information is here. Once February 5th has gone and passed, this folder will be located in the archive lessons and lectures folder. Next, I would like to go over to Ms. Parker's class website so that you can see more information there. All right, so here is the home page for Ms. Parker's class website, okay? And what you will probably be most interested in is 
the 2020-2021 semester two class page. And once you click there, it'll give you more information. This is actually a picture of the black graduation for Harvard. And I just thought this was amazing. So I like to have that information there. So here you will find upcoming major assignments. So next speech presentation, it already states Thursday, February 11th, that's next week. And then semester final exam project is due Tuesday, June 22nd. Here you will see that we're using Teams and Schoology and then the class notes. I already have the week's break broken down and here is what we are doing this week. So today is norming and forming, tomorrow is syllabus review, and then we have syllabus acknowledgement form due. Now, there will be things such as the lecture check-in or norming and forming check-in that will not be on the website because you can only access it through Schoology. So it's very important that you have that connection with Schoology. Next, you can go here to contact and you can get in contact with me through the website. You can provide information here, okay? And the last page that may be of interest to you is resources, okay? And here are some resources, some videos, information that can be used. I don't really like to take anything off this page. So some of these items are from previous semesters, but they all are again, resources that can help you. So if you get stuck, I might say, hey, go look at the resources page in the class website that can assist you. Okay, also updates. Once again, if you go here, the weekend review is here. Now let's touch on the weekend review again. I want to break down some, again, norms in regard to that. So let's look at this. No class meeting today, all right? This tells you, again, submit your daily attendance check-in. Then complete your do now in Schoology. I also encourage you to complete your discussion board form. I inform that one-on-ones today for all students, and then we will reconvene our group teams meeting on Thursday. Now, you might be saying, what are one-on-ones? I'm glad you asked. One-on-ones are when I will call you during your class hour and we will have a quick conversation to discuss any questions that you may have. And then we can also discuss your status on a project. As you can see here, I direct students classwork is in folder. As you can see, it's January 11th to January 20th. So this is a fairly recent one. Also on here, you can see what's upcoming and I have due dates and times all the time. So you will never not know when something is due. And I am available during your class if you need assistance. So all you have to do is send me a Teams chat message and I will definitely try to get back with you as soon as possible, especially if one-on-ones are happening. So this type of message you will find in your teams as well as in Schoology every day that we don't have a class meeting so that you will always know what is expected of you, okay? So what's next? What else do you need to know? I will say this, it is imperative that you are paying attention to due dates 
it is imperative that you ask questions and it's imperative that you communicate. In this virtual setting, I will never know what's going on unless you tell me. And the quicker that you communicate with me or the earlier and sooner that you communicate with me, the better. Then we can work through different kinks. If you ask me to help you when something is due or after the due date or deadline, there's not much I can do because it wouldn't be fair to other students, okay? So again, communication is key. Making sure that you check Teams and Schoology is key because I will use those platforms to communicate with you always. Again, I am committed to giving you all the information that you need in order to be successful. And then the success is in your hands. That again means asking questions. You can come to office hours. You can send an email or a Teams chat. So those are just some basic norms and forms with the daily attendance check-in with Microsoft Teams, the class website and the Schoology platform. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.